welcome to Finding Unity. We are Candace and Lurleen. Your what are we? Are we are we your host? Are we your guides? Are we partners? What are we for people? We are newcomers of trying to help people find unity, but not we are not newcomers of a God. But He has spoken in our hearts that that we should try to help others find unity each and every day. It's a different way of finding unity, but we are trying to help those to find unity like others help us to find unity. But we don't have to go through all of that, but I'm just saying. No. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of testimonies in there that can be said. Of, it's too much talking. <laughs> Yeah, that that's that's a perfect description of it. This is Finding Unity. This is a this is a podcast of people getting to yeah, of Finding Unity, people getting together who are who have good experiences of being in unity and being in unity with each other and that we've sort of been inspired to to help people find it within themselves and and hope that this is something they can listen to on a daily to get them there to have to plug in on their own every day and then do we say a little prayer when we start or we just yeah yeah we want our work yeah we want uh, the purpose of this our words together our laughter together to disarm those who would be armed and those those who would be afraid of disappointment they don't want to st- try because of for fear of being disappointed by God or whatever doubts and disbeliefs they may have we want our words our moments together our relationship together to bring them in just a little bit so then they can fall in at whatever pace they want and allow themselves to resign to possibility here yes and then that you know that you put on come here every morning, we put on the whole of a God that we may be able to stand against the wise of the devil, but we rest not against flesh and blood, but against the principalities, against the power, against the rule of the doctors of this world, and against spiritual weakness in high places. Yeah. <laughs> that like that. <laughs> So Lurleen is devout, biblical, devout, and I am devout, but not as biblical. <laughs> She's got the words of the book, and I have the the inspired words that come from my mouth. <laughs> my heart, my heart, my heart. Lurleen, good morning. Good morning. Good morning to you. How's everything going up there in your beautiful country? (laughs) (laughs) Well, everything's good when you wake up alive, right? That's the best thing it is when you wake up alive. (laughs) Girl, I've been blessed, so blessed this morning. I'm in for a walk and I'm at home. Did you have your prayer? Did you have your prayers, your prayers this morning with your friend? No, I don't. You know, I don't have them in the morning. No more, my friends would be by myself mostly now. Everybody just, um, everybody then kind of like stepped away. Maybe when life gets hard, they'll call you up again. Oh, they do. <laughs> <laughs> they call me. They call me during the day. Call me looking over things. And things and not up to par. Yeah, I still I hear from them some most some of mostly daily. Mm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What I was thinking was because it's I get a lot of people coming to me and asking or or saying that they can't meditate or they use their Bible to try to meditate and they still can't sit and read their Bible and they can't be still and this sort of a thing and I don't think that people realize that it takes active persuasion to get yourself to a place to be able to meditate or pray and sometimes that's taking a shower or listening to songs that slow that start to 
take your foot off the accelerator of life mm -hmm. and then yeah. and then you can start to be in that place of receiving anything that would shift you into that place of receiving and so i feel like this for this time that we spend together can help people get into that place to then when this is over and they're done listening to us they could then go into meditation and prayer this would be shifting them helping to shift them shift them yeah and now uh, for me could get me into in my quiet place in a, in a place of meditation is listening to praise music mm -hmm. you know i listen to the music but now you know i can just go into my and then when I go and you know pray along with myself, I just go into my closet. I can say that I read, and I start to read some prayers, and and then I start to pray in a little bit, and then I read the Bible a little bit, and then I get into like a quiet place, and I start to invite the Holy Spirit in, and I tell Him to come, Holy Spirit, come in. You're welcome in this place. Come, Holy Spirit, come, Holy Spirit. And if you can get your mind kind of calm down. Yeah. And I don't, uh -huh. I don't know if you feel this, but when, I, when I'm when i there, when I feel that alignment, I feel it inside my body. Like it's a feeling that I get inside and it's very joyous. And, some, and, and a lot of times it'll bring tears to me and I know I'm there and I can yeah. begin. But do you, have, do you have a certain feeling inside? Yes, I cry. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I can't. I go to, I started dripping little tears, and then I just get into a really a big cry. Yeah. <laughs> and then sometimes I'm, why are you crying? <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. And I, you know, I, I did that. Um, I remember Monday morning, and I'm just sitting here, and I would listen to the music, and I would listen to the uh, Tasha calls, he know my name. Then I sit and I was listening to that song. He just the Holy Spirit just came in so deeply and I and I was sitting here just crying and waving and thanking God and praising God. And then I go to crying. <laughs> so <laughs> then I, then I just go to thanking him for everything. Just come up in your mind. Stuff just go to popping up. I'm just thanking him for this, thank you for that, thank you for this, this, that. that. Yeah. Then it all just steamrolls. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I had a, I had a nice deep one the other day. I was crying, crying, crying. Just it was so wonderful, right? And then I come into the house and everybody's like, "You crying?" I said, "No, but it's complicated." <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And like one Sunday, ah. I went, I went to church, and that Sunday morning I got up, I was just, just feel, I was, um, I just got up with them, and listened, I listened to a couple of my pastors, Jensen Frank, he can always touch me, and then, I, when I would get my shower, then I was listening to the praise and worship songs, then I came in the kitchen, I made the coffee, I'm sitting there, and I'm just still humming and throwing up. And I got to the church. I was just so filled. And when I walked in the church, I didn't know nobody would pay me no attention. I was just sitting there. And I just keep, I was crying. I couldn't stop. <laughs> and I just had to keep taking my nap and wipe my face. So after church, one of the praise worship, the girl, she come to me. And she said, you were so, so full this morning. that all morning said you just was sitting crying yep. so I, I said I couldn't help it she said that was a good thing yeah you mm -hmm. you said okay you said two things that that are true for me too and one is you you were so, when she says to you you were so full and that's that's what it feels like you're so full that you just you you're overwhelmed almost emotionally and so that's why you're crying and but you're just filled with all the grace that, that what or whatever it is that just feels joy so joyful and and, and wonderful i i call it the light and um yes. and then also the other one was the 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 sermons that you listen to that they, they, they touch you and uh -huh. that i think that's the key for me is i feel like in order to get to that place you have to be a witness to something so inspiring that you feel it inside and in that moment you you're connected and then it is only then that this door appears that you can walk through it and you are invited in to uh -huh. commune with god and then yeah. that is when your unity is fulfilled right in that in that 
in that moment and then you can you can say and ask and give thanks and do whatever you want like that's the time that's your your time of receiving and and your relationship that you have right there with God that you can enjoy and I and I believe God is humbled by as well I mean it's very humbling yeah, the awareness. You know, when you get to that punch, it's just so much stuff going to pop it up. You just go to talking stuff. You just go to just so much. You just go to thinking just like you like you read the book. <laughs> <laughs> right. And it's inside of you. It's inside yeah, of you, it's right? Inside. I just go to pour it out. Thank you for this. You just go, 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 go. <laughs> <laughs> we, we will have example of that uh, towards the end of this. Because in order for us to get the people listening into their place, we need to get ourselves into our place, right? So um, I came across something this morning. It's a poem by William Blake that touched me. And uh-huh. do you mind if I read it? Oh, no. That's what we're here for. We just here. We have, you know, the final poems and stuff to read. That's good. Okay. Yeah, I came across an email that I received this morning, and I thought, oh, this is something. This is no accident. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> It's okay. It's called auguries of innocence, and auguries uh-huh. auguries means prophecies. So uh-huh. it's it's uh, something that a, a normal, you just a lay person, a human being, is observing in the innocence of life and and its future, and it's by William Blake. To see a world in a grain of sand, and a heaven in a wild flower, hold infinity in the palm of your hand and eternity in an hour. A robin red breast in a cage puts all of heaven in a rage. A dove house filled with doves and pigeons shudders hell, they're all its regions. A dog starved at his master's gate predicts the ruin of the state. A horse misused upon the road calls to heaven for human blood. The wild deer, wandering here and there, keeps the human soul from care. The lamb misused breeds public strife, and yet forgives the butcher's knife. The bat that flits at close of eve has left the brain that won't believe, and the owl that calls upon the night speaks the unbeliever's fright. He who shall hurt the little wren shall never be beloved by men. The wanton boy that kills the fly shall feel the spider's enmity. The caterpillar on the leaf repeats to thee thy mother's grief. Kill not the moth nor the butterfly, for the last judgment draweth nigh. He who shall train the horse to war shall never pass the polar bar. The beggar's dog and widow's cat, feed them, and thou wilt grow fat. It is right, and it should be so. Man was made for joy and woe, and when this we rightly know, through the world we safely go. Joy and woe are woven fine, a clothing for the soul divine. Under every grief and pine, runs a joy with silken twine. He who mocks the infant's faith shall be mocked in age and death, and he who shall teach the child to doubt, the rotting grave shall ne'er get out. He who respects the infant's faith triumphs over hell and death. The child's toys and the old man's reasons are the fruits of the two seasons. The questioner who sits so sly shall never know how to reply. And he who replies the word of doubt doth put the light of knowledge out. He who doubts from what he sees will ne'er believe, do what you please. If the sun and moon should doubt, they'd immediately go out. And we are led to believe a lie when we see not through the eye which was born in a night, to perish in a night, but when the soul slept in beams of light. God appears, and God is light, to those poor souls who dwell in night, but does a human form display 
to those who dwell in realms of day. And that's it. I, that's an edited version of that poem. Mm. We should wrote that. And that was a nice poem. William Blake. William Blake. Yeah, I love all of that. When you live in such doubt, you can never, you can never see because you're trying to see with your eyes and you're not trying to see with your heart and smile with your heart. So I love that put me right into the place. Uh -huh. So do you have, do you have um, a Psalm that you like or anything that helps you? Yes, I have Psalm, Psalm, Psalm 91. That is my favorite Psalm. What uh, helps me daily, not my every day. It's just, it's an uplifting Psalm and I just love it. Because we try to plug in every morning. I call it plugging in. We try to plug yes. in every morning. <laughs> <laughs> and it's not easy to do. It's not. But, but you know, the more we do it, it's going to get easier, though. Right. It's it's sort of like that cup of coffee, that that little cup of hope that you want to drink yes. that you think is going to make you feel better because it gets your heart going again. Well, it's the same idea. Yes. You know, if I don't, yes. if I don't plug in, I'm not going to have yes. the best day I could have. Yeah, a better so day. This, yeah, this is this is my psalm. What what gets me going? Not one day, but every day, every morning, every night before I go to bed. He said, "He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty." I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge, my fortune, my God, and Him will I trust. Surely He shall deliver me. Deliver me from the snag of the foe and from the God of the pestilence. He shall cover me with his feathers, under his wings shall I trust. His truth shall be my shield and buckler. I shall not be afraid of the terror of the night, not for the air that flies by day, not for the pestilence that walk in darkness, not for the destruction that wastes at noonday. A thousand may fall at my side, ten thousand at my right hand, but it shall not come near me. Only with my eyes shall I behold and see the wall of the deep, because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the most high, thy habitation. Thou shalt no evil befall thee, neither the praise come near my dwelling. For God will give his angels charge over me, to keep me in all my ways. They shall bear me up in their hands, so that I will not strike my foot against a stone. I will thread upon the line of the otter, the young line of dragon shall I trump under my feet. Because he has set his love upon me, therefore I will deliver him. I will set him on high, because he had known my name. He shall call upon me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. And so when I read that song, I know I am connected. Because I know that he up there with me. And at the end, I, I always said, when Lurley called up on me, I will answer her. I will be with her in trouble. You know, I will <laughs> deliver her and honor her. With long lives, will I satisfy her and show her my salvation. That, I, I put myself in that part. Mm -hmm. That's my special song. That's very yeah. generous of you to share. Thank you. I, I think that also sometimes, you know, if I'm, if I can't, find my stillness and I can't get there and I'll go for a walk you know you go for you walk too you walk a lot mm -hmm. and I mean and you're walking in praise too right you're you're doing yeah. worship too while you're walking yeah I worship when I'm walking but you know but here lately I can't do it because this lady she uh saw me one day so she wanted to walk with me and they'll be walking and we just talking, and we ate. But this morning, we did talk about God this morning. I'm so happy we did that. And uh, and we talked some stuff about the Bible and God this morning. That's the first time. <laughs> yeah, that reminds me of something, too, that I've seen before. And that is because when you think when you think you want to go out to be alone, and we talked about this yesterday, too. When you, right. you want to go out to be alone or something, and you're trying to be alone, but something... Uh, comes into your into your space and quote interrupts you, but maybe it's not an interruption, right? And you know, I took it as a blessing. I said, maybe you know, she can tell me some stuff. We can tell, and we can just at this morning, 
And I was thinking, I said, no, you and I had started, we were going to start the, try to organize us a little, little spare time um, and inspiration with God this morning. I said, yeah. going to try to do this. And then I said, maybe, and here it is this morning, she, we coming. And uh, she was asking me about Cain and Abel. And, you know, then we started talking about the Bible. And I said, maybe that was a time for us in the morning when we go for the walk. That for us to talk about God and leave other stuff alone, you know. That's this right. Could be a time of worship and praise for us, just walking, you know. Yeah, and 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 in a suspend in a way of suspension where you're not you don't have a care in your head anymore, right? And there's right. there's a beautiful line that says, "Now I see that the beauty I had not been able to find in the world is in you." And, and the poem says the same thing. It says, God appears and God is light to those poor souls who dwell in night, but it, he appears as human form to those who dwell in the realms of day. And so for those of us who are awakened to and aware of this relationship, and, and we know is God is within us, right? And so right. we can see it in others when we are with them too. And so it's the same idea. God appears in human form. And so yes. together you uh, are walking as such. Yes, he appeared. Yeah. This morning, I guess he said, you know, I'm going to change the, the way of thinking. I'm going I'm to do something different with them this morning, you know? Yeah. And so, yeah, and we, and the whole time we was walking, we was just talking and about uh God and you know the blessed day we were trying to figure out some of the Bible's verse scriptures and stuff and and he was you know we did something different in our walk this morning because like I said before I stayed with her I would have on my praise and and worship then but then I would listen to the I popped the Bible on I would listen to Bible verses and you know I would just connected all the time when I was walking. Just I stayed connected all the time. Right. Mm-hmm. And so you still have fulfill- fulfillment from that, mm-hmm. from this morning. Yeah. And, and, you, and like when I get up in the in, in the morning time, we get myself ready, and I, I get my phone set up before I walk out. When I step outside, I just hit that button and let it roll. <laughs> 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 yeah, sometimes I'd be singing, like I said, crazy singing. Sometimes just listening to the Bible. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I love, too, how sometimes people can, let's say you're blocked from it or you're just having that kind of day, you're just feeling blocked from your connection. and uh-huh. But somebody, a stranger or something somewhere, says something, right? Something it sounds seems so benign, but it unlocks you, and you're there again. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh somebody that you did never expected you know what we were saying it could just be a homeless person on the street who's sh- who's shouting something out or saying something and you're saying listen to them listen to them yeah don't don't close your ears and eyes off to things all around you all around you is the message right and it, it is like a way to keep you open time, like you're walking i see people sitting on the bus bench and I always say, if we just sit and look at so down, and I say, good morning, all that raise oh, good morning, how you doing this morning? Oh, I'm doing good, how are you? I say, have a blessed day. Thank you. And you know, kind of wake them up. They just look, oh, you know, oh, somebody said good morning to me. You know, you yeah. don't know what's in the people. You don't know what people, you don't I know matter. what people going through these days. You know, people go through so much, and we just don't know. No, yes, we don't. Well, we a good morning. How anything, anything can shift a day for a person. Just one kind word can shift a uh-huh. whole day for, for anybody spiraling. Right. Yeah. And you know, and sometimes I, I've been to girls that be, be talking to people, and the people just be sometimes just looking so dead in my eyes. I said, "Give me a hug." <laughs> <laughs> That's right. That's right. <laughs> Look like they want something, you know. Yeah. <laughs> We just be talking and tell how you doing today? I'm doing good. How you doing? Then little chat, chat, chat. He just keeps standing. I just give me a hug. I just grab a hug. I'm like, God bless you. Have a good, blessed day. God love you. I squeeze him and hold him. 
Oh, wow. Thank you so much. And one day I did that. This lady, she was she was just crying. And I said, you know, you just can't go by. They'll say nothing. Just try to say something with the lady. <laughs> so, but she still, I didn't ask her for the problem. I just grabbed her and I just hugged around her and I whispered in her ear. I told her, God, I said, I said, God, whatever your daughter going through, as I put it in your hand, I said, just take her and use her, Father God, and whatever the yoke, break that yoke, Father, and just bring peace back into her life and mm-hmm. joy and happiness. If it's a need, let every need be met. In the name of Jesus, amen. amen. And I just went on. And she yeah. was just glad of this. She, she called me, she called me, she hugged me again. She said, thank you so much, Mama. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> you know... She, you, you just don't never know. No, you don't. And you know what happened to me once? I was I was out of town and I was going in to grab some food into a, this place, this really neat little cafe. And there was a dog outside with this woman. And it was a puppy. And I wanted to pet the puppy so bad. And I said, can I can I pet the puppy? And she said, yes. And his, his the puppy's name was Sergeant or something military or something having to do with law enforcement. I don't remember the full name. And I, I kind of looked at her like, oh, that's an odd name for a dog. And she said his daddy was a police officer. And I fell into a, a par- prayer for him when I was petting the dog out loud. And I started petting the dog and saying, oh, you sweet thing. And what I said was something like, it is my wish for you that you bring uh, peace to your to your um, person and you remove his stress so that when he touches the lives of others that there may not be controversy and strife that he has peace in his in his work and his service oh my gosh I mean Lurleen it was insane and that was it I gave it a kiss and then I walked off it was the weird you know do you ever you I'm sure yeah you I'm sure you are always overcome that way when you, yeah. I know you are yeah. yeah it's natural for you to fall into that yeah he just like it's like sometimes, you know, and so I see people, some people just, I stop, but here she go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you fall out like nobody's business. Yes. Yes, and you say, here she go. <laughs> No, I said, but it's just a habit. It just still happens. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and does this happen to you? Like when that happens to you, when it sort of overcomes you like that, it's almost like everything around you is quiet and it's total peace, and you're just sort of suspended in this place of words coming to you and you saying them, and then all of a sudden everything is lifted and you're back in in reality in the world around you and you're done is that yes. how, yeah that's what it's like for you mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah and, you know, and i was in the grocery store one day i was just you know i was walking down the aisle and this guy come around the corner and he looked up in my face he said oh he said you're the christian ain't you huh i said yes he said, you are, because you see it all over your face. He says, a glow over your face, crown around your head. I <laughs> said, thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Walk around in the store, don't know this. He must be. you don't know the glow on your face. Yeah, he must be able to see the auras he around He must us. have been. Yeah. Oh, I just could see what nobody else could see. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, uh, Mars used to say he had that must have that eager eye. <laughs> the eager eye? Yeah, the eagle eye. Then Mars is really he Oh eagle. Eagle. Eagle eye, the Got eagle. It. And he always sometimes Mars used to pray for us to have an eagle eye. I see. Yes. And he what? said you can see above and beyond what other people can see yeah it's it's nice that you had 
you got to have some confirmation of what you experience that somebody else could see that because you don't get to see that you know you just you do feel it right but you don't you don't get to yeah you don't all the time you don't always get to be able to see it but you know what Candace? yeah I asked for that you did I always ask I always I, ask, I still I ask God when I'm out I said God let me stand out and let people realize that I am your child I'm your daughter oh I like that Lurleen I, I like do that, that all the time Kathy. I it never asked for that I do that all the time in my prayers I do that I be, basically every day I'm, if I don't say it every day he, basically every day I ask God and I ask God I said, send me uh, in the morning. I get, I said, God, send a fresh anointing. Oh, man. I said, I want a fresh anointing this morning. I said, come, Holy Spirit. Come, Holy Spirit. And I just reach out, have my hands reached out, and I just bring them into my chest. And I just said, come, Holy Spirit. Mm. Cover me with a fresh anointing. And I asked God, you know, Give me a fresh anointing. Mm-hmm. And I said, God, when I'm walking out, when I'm in the grocery stores, when I'm in the stores, even just walking down, I said, let me do something special. Let the people know that I am your child. I am your daughter. I said, give me that glow on my face. I said, let my face glow, God. Well. And I, I, and I said, let the people see me. So I shall am. it will be. And that man saw it. He's yeah. the only one I ever seen. He's the only one. Said he's, seen he's the only one who had the guts to tell you. He's I'm sure he's not the only one who's seen I mean I've certainly saw it <clears throat> when yeah, we first met. So <laughs> when we first yeah. met I opened the door and I knew we were kin. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> wasn't that crazy, Ken? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was coming in to, to help help you, but you are you are helping me too. <laughs> 'Cause I that's I was <laughs> I was very mad, very mad at God then, and and then you brought me back into the light for sure, easy. That day, that day. <laughs> One day. Yeah. What do you call that? It was a. It was an intervention. Then that time you sit down on the floor, I prayed, and you sit down on the floor. Yep. In the bedroom on the floor. Yeah. Then you go. You go home that night. You come, you know something happened. You tell me, you see a whole lot of color of a light. It looked like you raised up in your bed. God is, I said, God is cleansing you. That's right. I woke up. I had, I had orange and red colors. You get in your flesh, and you're gonna be different. Yeah. 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 Oh, that was a mighty shift. Mighty shift. It took. It took a. That was a mountain moved for sure. Yes. To shift me back to that, got back my center, and sometimes now we can get off and get to distract a little. Something happened, and we get all upset about something. Get off, we kind of get off, kind of step out of bind a little bit. But I, I don't try. I try not to stay out there. I have to get back in line. <laughs> yeah, you know when you 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 start carrying everything, all the burdens and everything, and, and all uh-huh. the problems in your life, or the problems with your children. And in yeah. your case, you had, you know, had a, you know, a really serious issue with, with your son and what he was going through. And then, and then you remember, right? Like, why am I carrying this? What yeah, can I do? I can't do anything no, about I it. Yeah, why? <laughs> I, we literally have an undeniable force on our side supporting us. And we forget. To just say, like, listen, can you take this one? (laughs) (laughs) And I sit there, I pray, pray. Oh, I pray every time I hear from it, they didn't get no bread. I said, okay. I said, God, I said, you gave Ricky to me. I said, now I'm giving him back to you. You take him and you use him. In the way that you would have him to go. Because I don't know what to do no more. I, I'm, I, I'm tired and I just can't do it anymore. Because I can pray. I said, but I'm not going to ever stop praying for him. I said, but I'm turning him over to you. And I said, I'm stepping back. Mm-hmm. And I told that to Ricky. And then I turned around and I told him, I said, not only Ricky, God, I said, I'm giving you all three of my sons. <laughs> <laughs> I said, take them. 
Take them and you use them. Give them off of my shoulder. Just take them. Yeah. <laughs> I will say things like, I will say, um, th this is a kind of a funny thing that I get my, you know, I try to have my humor about it. And I say, I really look forward, God, to how you're going to work this out, this one out for me. <laughs> <laughs> I look forward to seeing your your good work, your work, your magnificent work, because it's always done in such a way that's such a surprise, isn't it? Yes. It's never anything you could ever imagine. How could this ever be resolved? And it is, but it's done so beautifully. Yes. There's sometimes uh, I say, I be praying, I say, like God, and you take this. You take it and you show out. I said, that's what you do. I said, you show out. I said, you, 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 you show out. And I said, go on. I'm waiting. And I said, I'm going to stay. I said, I'm going to wait patiently. And I said, if I get out of line, just out of me. <laughs> <laughs> I said, if I start talking, you know, stupid stuff, I said, just out of me. If I do things I had no business to do, just out of me. I said, learn me how to wait. I said, just learn, learn yeah. me how to wait. Yeah, and then sometimes you hear that you hear that voice inside that's like, "Okay, you done yet? Because I'm ready to just <laughs> scoot on in here if you just get out of the way." Yeah, just got to stay out of the way. Yeah, I'm waiting. You I'm done complaining? Waiting. I just waiting. You got you got to quit. You know you got to quit. Yeah, and then I <laughs> then I go down the line. Here's what I done. God forgive me for this. God forgive me for this. <laughs> oh, God. Mona says, you shut up. You ask me to fix it. Now, you're going to have to stop. You just quit. Yeah, that's... I know all of that already. Yeah, that is... Yeah, I know you I know it's you in your heart. I don't know. Just go sit down. You said fix it. Now, let me fix it. <laughs> <laughs> Talk to us. You're still talking. You're still talking. I know it's... Talking. A, I know what's in your heart. I know what's in your heart. I know it's and, in your heart. And you've got to be quiet and let just, me do it. And yeah. It might, it's not going to be done today. It may not be done tomorrow, but you just stop. But shh. And there, and there is the line, deliver us from evil. Right there. Deliver us from yeah. evil. Just quit. Shh. Be quiet. Be quiet. I got this. I know it's in your heart. You just see, can you sit quiet and be patient for one minute? Just give me one minute. <laughs> you know, because, yeah, you Show could. Show me you can do it. Yeah, you could, you can, you know, you can start out the beginning of the day with, God, you got this. I know you got this for me. God, I am your wealthy child and yes. you got it. Got but by the end of the day, you're like, why is it done yet? You go to go on back <laughs> you got to start over again in the morning. Plug in. God, you got this. You got this. Go to say, I know that you you, you got this now because I'm putting on the whole arm of this morning. I'm putting the arm on. I'm not going to look to the right or to the left. I'm not going to look behind me. I'm going to look forward. I'm not looking around at all this other stuff. What's going on, God? I'm going to keep my eyes focused. And I'm not going to move. I'm just going to walk forward. Not yeah. Yeah, you got it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You're peeking off. You're peeking off to the left on the periphery. You see it. You're distracted again. No, but you can't. You can't. You've got to come from that place of authenticity, right? You've got to feel that you really, really. You got to give it up, like in a real way, in a real way. When you really give it up, by the end of the day, you're still in that place. If you really done it, if you really laid it at the hands of God, and you said, even my dreams, even my dreams, everything that I ever want in this world, even my dreams, I put them at your feet. I don't want them. I All I want is this relationship with you first, you first, and then what comes will come. Because you know what's in my heart. And that is what I really want. you got to come from that place deep within your heart. Yeah. When you when you're doing you know when you when you're doing that, and then and sometimes it takes, but but even to get there, you ha you have to be inspired by it, and and you don't always have to be inspired by the grief and the sadness and the and the despair of life. You can be inspired by it through f through the beauty that you see around you too. Yeah. 
Well, do you want to end in some prayer? Yes. Yes, God. Yeah. As we come this morning, and we were discussing all our love and the care and the blessing, what you have done for us, Father God, and, and those blessings that you have shared with us and have put in our life, and let us let it be shared it abroad, God, as we go out on the byways, highways, as we go into the grocery store, we walk even up and down the streets, Father mm-hmm. God. Just let us be able to minister to someone. You give us that eager eye, like Marcia was saying, the eager eye to see God. And he said, if he asked what you give it to us, I'm asking for the eager eye this morning, but Tantus and myself, Lord. And Father God, I'm just asking you just to give us that wisdom and knowledge. That Holy Spirit, just bring in the Holy Spirit upon us daily, Lord, with a fresh anointing. And God, as we walk through each and every day, let the people see that we are special. That's right. Your children, God, just something about us is different from other people. Because we're asking for it, God. But you said we have not because we ask not. And so if we'll be asking your name and faith believe that you'll do it for us, God. I'm asking right now, in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit, in that precious name of Jesus, that you fill us with that Holy Spirit, God, with your anointing. And Father God, just let it overflow. Just let it fall from us to others, Lord. And God, you know, as I always ask you, just as we pray for people, Lord, let that healing come forth in the name of Jesus. Father, we pray your word. Because we look to the hill where our help comes from. It comes from you. Yes, You're God. the one that made heaven and earth. You and our self are supposed to be moved. You that keep us in our slumber. And God, as we pray for others, healing touch, Lord. It's we where we can put our hands on them. Let our hand be your hand. Let our church be your church, Lord, because you is our praise. Your words and we just thank words. you, Lord. And Father, this morning, we come and we thank you for favor over our life this morning, Father God. We just want to thank you for undoing all our heavy burdens, Father. And Father God, we just want to thank you for guiding us in the path of righteousness for your name's sake. Lord, we just want to thank you for breaking the bond of weakness of us right now. Just fill us with your Holy Spirit, Father God. All all we just let it be fall down, Father. Break every shackle down, Father. Let it fall down right now in the name of Jesus. Every stronghold, Father God, shall be destroyed right now, Father God. The whole shall be fallen, God. And we just thank you, Father God, for breaking every yoke, Lord. And God, we just want to thank you for physical healing our body, our souls, and our minds. Just Amen. Continue healing, Father God, over us. And Father, let us realize. As we rose this morning and every morning, that we are truly, truly blessed. Because if you never bless us anymore, God, you already blessed us because you give us shelter over our head. Beautiful homes to live in, God. Beautiful sight to see, eyes to see the beauty of what you have done, Lord. And life has been strict, Father God. We can go in our chicks and we can have food on our table, Lord. So many don't have it. And don't we're not taking it for granted, Lord. We're taking it as a blessing. But God, we are willing to bless those that let's watch that we are. God, we just want to thank you. You just, whatever our needs may be to others, Lord, as we go through each and every day. Put out of our minds what we should do. And we just thank you, Lord. Yeah, and Father, may our, may our words, our words together. Struggling in the hospital and nursing home and so many at home struggling, Lord. Through all this virus and, and through all this uh, going on, Lord, crisis that's going on. But we are not in this crisis because we are your children. And God, but we just ask you to bless those really, really struggling. And we can be a help, Lord. Let us do it. And we thank you, Lord, because you have blessed us so much that we want to be a blessing to others. And we thank you. And I thank you for this time that you have given us this day. For the blessing, God, we had a blessing that we come together. We come together. time for you, God. For In our you, relationship with God. Let you know how much we love you. And thanking you, God, for showing us each and every day what we should say, what we can do. And we said, thank you, Lord. Thank you, God. And Father, I thank you for looking over Candace's neighbor. Continue to bless it upon her, her daughters, Lord. I lift them up before you that they will walk in peace and harmony, love and joy each and every day. That that yoke would be broken. That would be peace going to that home, joy, happiness, love, laughter in your precious son, Jesus' name. And we actually look over thank our you. family, Lord. 
all the children, grandchildren, great grandchildren, sister, brother, niece, and nephew, our friend, neighbor. Our we homes, lift them all up and you, our Jesus, neighbors. And we thank you for it. Thank you. In your name, we our pray. community. Amen. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Oh, God. Thank you, Jesus. Father, let us live the fruits of the Spirit. Father, God is love and joy, and peace, goodness, and kindness. Greatness, Father God, self control. Father, we just want to live that way. We can let us live like the fruits of the Spirit. Amen. And we thank you, Lord. And this day, God, we claim grateful of all you have done in our life. And we just thank you, Father. Yes. Thank you, God. For just letting us be greatness. You know, the greatness of our life that you have given us this kind of this day. Thank you, God, choose, for being Father here God, us. the attitude of joy. And we thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God, for this relationship, for our knowing of your relationship. Yes, Jesus. Our awareness of this relationship. Yes, God. Your support and forgiving of your, for yes, your nourishing Jesus. stream. Never ending nourishing stream. Oh, Jesus. Yes, God. And just so that inner peace that passes all understanding. That, Father God, we can even understand the enemy. And let me just thank you, Lord, for this. That forgiving heart. If you forgive us every day, God, just let us be like you. Have that forgiving heart. We thank you, Lord. Yes, Lord. Peace be still. Peace be still. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. I think now is would be a great time to invite all who come across us together and invite our time together to help awaken their doors inside and what they may be locked down in and help to inspire yeah. them and spark them into receiving that now would be a good time for them to go into their personal and individual relationship with what they know as God and meditation and prayer. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Peace be still. Peace be still. Goodbye, everyone. Have a blessed day.